Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign with uh, probably the second last uh, mission uh, to play. It's Operation Network Tower aka Half Dead Savior. We're as always just allowed to take a few soldiers with us. Got a nice little uh, squad concealment. Yep, that works. Uh, then we got crit chance increase. Yep, that's great as well. Vision increase and will reduction of the enemy. Well, it does all sound fantastic. We are more than ready to go, Bradford. We are more than ready to go. We are so fully prepared. It's beyond comprehension. That means sending in fewer personnel than we typically would deploy. If we're going to infiltrate the Good. We wanted Hogbite. We wanted uh, to take Storm, but uh, they are shaken. So we're just going to go with a Dual. And unfortunately, Quick Feed is also wounded. That stinks a bit, but it is what it is. So let's go in with two Sparks. One of which is pretty heavily wounded, but we're eventually going to go through it um yeah the equipment really is pretty much straightforward not much to add here and that's going to be our team moving in i'm excited the main team is waiting in the final mission so let's get this one going guys let's get going all right and we are Back for good. We just landed on this nice little high tower. Always wondered just why they wouldn't immediately land up here, but yeah, I guess that's XCOM logic. All right. So the idea is. I can do oops, that. that was a misclick. Uh, the idea is to use our concealment to our advantage and essentially start to power up our Templar. Once fully powered up, we should be fine. Open door here, by the way, means that someone... Eh, doesn't mean much. To think about... Typically, open doors mean someone has moved through, but... We did not have a thing around beforehand, so... Might have started with an open door. Alright, very much moving up. Almost inclined to do the good old blade storm opening. Ooh. Well, that's looking more and more interesting, doesn't it? There is a mutant. top of the others there so yeah that's going to be an interesting pack unfortunately our bladestorm opening only really works yeah it doesn't actually does not really work uh, super well you have an idea though get a tiny bit closer that's some opening means we're rushing in with bladestorm and we're then going when when they are going to like move past us we're essentially taking a couple of extra hits so that is an interesting pack here by the way let's start with that surprise surprise we've been spotted out And where is the blade storm? Oh, hope I didn't have blade storm. Oh my gosh! Yeah, okay, that was the worst blade storm opening ever without blades. <laughs> yeah, hope I didn't have blade storm in this particular setup. It's not the end of the world. Uh, that will uh, make for some hilarious comments um 
No, yeah, that was definitely a great place to some opening, wasn't it? Okay, so, in all seriousness, let's move in here. Gonna get into that nice little overdrive. And I was hoping that we would hit all of them. Unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. We're just missing... We're just missing the Archon right there. No matter how I turn it, can't really get it to start right in front of it. No. All right, three targets are solid. <clears throat> Not extra solid, but pretty okay. Also took away a lot of uh, the cover, which isn't bad either. Yeah, and before we're deciding on where uh, where to go and what to do, let's take a look at Reaper, shall we? Good, Elite Spectre. Fortunately, a dodge. Yeah, the mutant can counter attack, so that's not a good idea. Nine, we're looking at two, four, six, eight, nine, that's it, and that's a kill. And that would be a double kill. Um, yeah, I think we're going to double kill. Even hit that, um, that mutant right here and through the double kill we got enough movement to theoretically go up and finish the job. We're going to rest after uh, this one. So there is time to overdrive now. Reaper unfortunately means that we cannot uh, go into a blocking mode afterwards because uh, parry only works if you do not have Reaper uh, set up. It's one of the downsides of Reaper, can't stack parry. We're going to soften most of them up quite well. Yeah, almost too well. Yeah, we don't want to rush in even further. Likewise, we don't want to destroy our own mech. Oh, that's another double kill. He must be strangely placed because he has taken damage twice. I'm not really sure why that uh, that was working the way it was working. We're not going to waste our focus. I can see that we're far enough away to not be affected by a sonic bomb. The sonic bomb would probably be planted here. Might as well like move into cover, to be honest. And take that shot. Alternatively, we could actually uh, just vault it and that'll be it. Got another uh, focus line uh, over here. So we are good to go. After that phenomenal start where Saiken was basically doing the Bladestormless Bladestorm opening, the infamous around. one. It's probably going to be a meme going forward. I'll monitor that area. Preparing my weapon. 
All right, we're going to wait the four turns. Only thing that we're going to do is basically taking this here. Saying thank you, dear game. Still couldn't summon a ghost. That would be fantastic. Would be a fourth operative. Yeah, we can hear alien movement. That's okay. No problem from our side. Yeah, we gotta wait a couple more turns. Just to get those overdrives back. One more turn after that. Okay, ready, steady, go. <sighs> Leaving our high ground position. The good old fire line continues and moving into full cover. This might trigger. No. All right, moving up, moving up, and let's move up. Okay, so far so good. Reaper is back up again. There's probably only one pack left to be honest. Stomp, 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 stomp. stomp. Well, so much for the idea that there's only one pack left, Saiken. So gotta learn not to jinx it, buddy. Did we trigger those? Yeah, we triggered them, but they were not activating. Interesting concept. Okay, so that's a kill. I like it. Uh, we're going to, of course, Reaper. Starting with that massive explosive strike. Oh yeah. That was good. Love it. Moving up. Can't reach these guys. I'm honestly a bit confused whether or not they are triggered. If they, if they would be triggered, uh, that should be an overwatch and they should have moved in. But that doesn't seem to be the case somehow. I think we can take them, to be entirely honest. Alright, they were not triggered, but that's fine. Like I said, I, I wasn't sure what we were dealing with. There's no need to be uh, too sad about what just happened. We have the cooldowns and we we should engage them. All right, starting with that. Oh, this is a very solid kill <laughs> and a nice hit. Uh, we're going to set uh, this gentleman here up for a kill. Which we will do right afterwards. There we go. Yet another kill. Not in range. Uh, 
Let's start, start shredding this guy here. Okay, perfect. And... Yeah, I think the problem is... Yeah, we can't really hit him with uh, Volt. Could have killed uh, the Archon, but that uh, if that's not a, the real threat. The real threat uh, comes from the mech here. Couldn't really reach him, which is a bit of an uh, issue. I don't like the high ground up there. I don't want to go in with invert either. So let's not cluster up. We're going to eat some rockets, but that's okay. One turn, and that's all they had. There's the rocket. Yeah, well. All right, moving in. Potentially triggering another pack. Boy, oh boy, we're leaving destruction and despair in our wake. Wonderful, yet another crit. The mechs are performing incredibly well. I think so far we should be we should be done here. Yeah, we're done. It's not even someone in here. Should I double check that for you? Target in range. Move to hack the command console. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got some loot over here, which really doesn't matter at this point. Might as well grab it. Should be added to our inventory. Maybe it's something super unique. Couldn't imagine what it is. Certainly not an advanced stock. I feel light on my feet. Yeah, and that mission... You know, it was uh, to be expected to be a little bit easier, so it's really to have fun. Probably I could have done it with three rookies, uh, to be entirely honest. And of course, we're getting the enemy protocol at the very end when it does no longer matter. And the game is teasing us. Almost got it. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. Yeah, pretty decent mission. Not very difficult. I'll skip that part here and come back with the last mission. Keep this up. The aliens don't stand a chance, Commander. Yeah, that was quite straightforward. We killed everybody and were successful. Now the only thing that is left is the last mission. This is it, Commander. It's time we put an end to this once and for all. Operation Leviathan. And here, we're most certainly not going to take any scrubs with us. It's going to be critical effort, just like we said, so let's treat it as such. First of all, we take the three sparks that have defined this run. Vector Glaive and Dagger, nicely lined up. Let's give them one side of the picture. Then we're going to go in with Magister. Uh, he at least has Bladestorm. Uh, Hogbite can take a chill pill. He's still the legend and the only one who ever has beaten XCOM as a single soldier ever ever. So then on top of it, we're going to go in with Renvin with this massive muscular kind of Randy Macho Man Savage suit and we got a fully decked out Roby. This is going to be fun. We only have two Mimic Beacons and a bit, uh, we're a bit light on um, on am ammunition, so blue screen rounds. 
but overall we should be fine. Like I'm not really seeing what should stand against us. Even with sector pods, we are having re uh, repeatable cooldowns uh, with uh, the sparks to just deal with it. And to be honest, Magister can solo a sector pod alone. I don't need any help uh, with that at all. And yeah, the rest looks pretty much uh, decked out, which means we're going to enjoy the scenery when the commander is gonna um, finally merge and uh, go to the last mission, Waterworld that is. And I'm going to see you in the very next uh, session. Thank you so much for watching. This is a shorter one as always, uh, but I don't want to fit in the start of uh, the next mission. Instead, I'll leave you with our beloved Bradford uh, to narrate the rest. And then we see each other in two days from now. Take care. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Humanity is counting on us, people.